every night. <laughs> well, the first talking point is what we just discussed uh, just earlier about the, the Royal High School. Mm. So we just said, because obviously there's just been this report come out, um, and this journalist, well, someone's called um, the architect, uh, you know, a Godzilla, Godzilla. which is, is, is a little bit personal. It's not, you know. So we just asked, do you think it's a fair? Like, do you think you should be calling people mm. this? So. Um, Rob Garfin's got in contact and through Twitter. He says, I wonder if there's any development in Edinburgh that isn't bitterly opposed by some group. Mm. I mean, that's true. If you are going to do some sort of major work, you know, there will be backlash. So I suppose there are pro professional moaners out there who really yes. want to moan at absolutely everything. But being the eternal optimist that you and I are, and I know we are, yes. <laughs> I like to look for the good in everything. Yes, exactly. It's just the kind of person I am. Yes, a positive person. Rob Garvin isn't, obviously. Obviously not. <laughs> but moving on. Moving on. Mm -mm. So this is the next story. Um, this is a lovely kit from moving from big monsters to small monsters. Um, this is the Misong Di Mogi. Mm. So this is a cat cafe that's opened up in Edinburgh. Do you think you'd like a cat cafe, Angus? You put me in the spot now. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, no. No. I've never had a cat. Right. I've never had a dog, really. Um, therefore, it probably would make me feel uncomfortable. Nothing wrong with cats. I mean, I, I love the lovely cuddly little things, but it probably would make me feel a bit uncomfortable. Yeah, a, 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 a cat at my heels when I'm having a coffee. Yeah, well that's what we that's what a lot of people have got in contact saying. We've got the cat lovers yeah, saying, well, but Emma Grundy's got in contact with Facebook and she says, oh my, that really is a little bit bizarre even for me. So I think uh -huh. Emma must be a bit of a cat lover, but I think it would be a little bit strange. I, I, you know, I've seen them before. Edinburgh is not the first to get this kind of thing, and they do really, really work. Yes. You know, there are, there are people who would go there in preference to going mm. to other places. They're not such a bad idea. Um, and also, Mandy Meldrews has got in contact with Facebook too. She says, Happy it's moving. Holes no interest to her, so she's not fussed. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> That's fine. Not that happy Absolutely. about it. Um, Joan Guyver's got in contact. Exciting. We have one in Hamilton Place, so she obviously uh -huh. loves it. Quickly, how can people get in touch if they have a, a message for us? Um, so you can contact us on Twitter or Facebook at SCV Edinburgh and by emailing fountainvisual at scv.tv and don't forget to use the hashtag fountainvisual. We're going to catch our breath for a couple of minutes, at least I am. After the break, trying out tea for a tenner and we're meeting the local author who's getting rave reviews for his new novels on Edinburgh Crime. See you in two minutes.